welcome back everyone to another video with the Navigator. Owner, operator. In Fultonville, New York right now, we delivered a load of, of bad Walmart shopping carts this morning to the repair facility. Up here, found a load. What's that Swift guy doing? Ah, he's just making it easy. Back up, I guess. Off to my left, you can't see him. What the hell is he doing? All right, I guess he's just being a douche. But anywho, um, delivered the load, came down here to the TA, got some fuel, looked at the loads, and um, found this load. All miles is 198 with deadhead and loaded. Gonna go down to Glenville, New York, uh, pick up a load of solar panels, I believe it is take him up to um, Governor New York for tomorrow morning and I believe it's going to a project up there but it's 505 all miles so that's pretty darn good load short load see what time it is after we get loaded and maybe just maybe we'll be able to get them off today I don't think so because they only receive until or 2.30, I believe, something. But hey, we're gonna get on the 90 head east back towards Albany. Um, it says Glenville, but it's really Snecticky, Snecticky, if I'm pronouncing it right, which I know I ain't, so. Anywho, we're gonna head that way. Alrighty, we're off the interstate now. And it's showing we are 1.7 miles away. Don't see no sign, no turn around, so we're going. Going to be right down here on our left hand side. No sign, so that means for any new drivers, you can go underneath the train trestle because if it ain't posted, it's at least. 203 is what the guy said when I called a few minutes ago. Talk to him. Bumpy road, bumpy road. Out there and get me in here because this is right in here, right here. There ain't no way in, so. B Street. Come on down here. Look for 203. Ship and receive and build in Sewell 4201 this way. This must be it. Yeah, right here. Yeah, this is it right here.
How's it going? Checked in. Put her in that hole there. So place to get into but it ain't bad at all. All right doors open slide the tandems and let's put her in the dock and get loaded. Solar panels going to a brand new solar farm. Well we're finally in the dock but we're sticking out here in the road. Again 24 pallets I guess this is halfway through the load going up there to this facility. And um, it's about a hundred, a thousand, I mean a thousand panels or something like that going to this one project. I guess it's a pretty good sized project, so we'll see. But um, he's going to load us up and hopefully it doesn't take too long. Old, oh that's old and new military plane flying, but... All right, we're all loaded. 24 pallets of these. Um, solar panels. Not much of a sunrise this morning. I was hoping for a good one coming up here, but it's a bit overcast. Got some gloomy clouds off to our left, uh, off to our right, I mean. Amish farms, how they do their hay. into the village of Governor New York. I'm going to be taking a left up here. I called and talked to the man. Make sure I had the right directions yesterday. And it's a construction lot, and it looks like a narrow road. I wanted to make sure I was going the right way, and I didn't want to make a wrong turn and then not be able to turn around. So he told me how to get to him. Pretty simple. So you're gonna have no issues. No issues at all. Street and turn. 
turn left onto um, Little Bow Road. take us back to the job site but it could but if you're looking for a job site look for the dirty dirt max on the roadway nice narrow road here yeah this is it now see those cones out there so cut some of those tree limbs back there folks good lord come on we're gonna have equipment on this road we need to be able to get into it can do.
just like that, that's how you back around a truck. Now we gotta go down that road. What a muddy, muddy place this is. So, as you guys saw, I drove up there, backed around, drove back out to the road we came in, then backed up here. The construction guy just told me I'm the first guy to do it in under, I don't know, 20 minutes, first try or whatever. He was, they were impressed, which I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but they said everyone else has been having issues, major issues. But, hey, it all depends how your tandems are, so. It's the job site, it's all muddy. And they already unloaded me, so that's a positive. And just like that, we are empty. Let's get out of here without getting stuck in the mud. All right, you're inspecting the truck, make sure there is no damage and everything after going off-road in there. I need a truck wash badly. Yep, I need a truck wash. Mud. Even on my trailer. The issue is, guys, there's no one up here in the Northeast. There's very few people that do truck washes. Trailer tires are still all good. Alright, covered in mud. Yeah. Check this side out real quick. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Just muddy. Not too bad in the trailer, but she's a little muddy. We'll have to clean her up before the next load. Clean up with my nice little blower here. Saved so much time got this out. Oh, I'm Lowe's for a hundred bucks. Craftsman. I've had it a couple months now, but it's awesome. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'm cleaning my first solar panel load. All right, guys, we'll see you later. The Navigator is out.